All right. Heading to the gym to hit some chest. Should be a good one. I actually, I wasn't planning on going to the gym today, but I woke up feeling pretty good. So we're gonna hit chest. Um, I'm feeling incline Smith press today. Lately for chest, I've really been focusing on hitting incline and I've been switching back and forth between incline Smith and an incline machine bench. I haven't really been doing barbell incline. I just, I don't really feel it too much. Maybe I'll go back to it at some point, but I don't really have that that drive to want to do it. And, you know, it really amazes me when people have been lifting for so long, specifically bodybuilding, and they've built up a decent amount of muscle. Uh, I need to put sunglasses on, so sorry if I'm too cool for you guys. Um, and they're asking, what, what's the best exercise for chest? And it's really intuitive. Like, it shouldn't be too difficult. You shouldn't have to think about it too much. In bodybuilding context, we're trying to achieve the best state of mind-muscle connection. And that's going to be different per person and per exercise. So you might really like incline barbell bench. And you might get a crazy squeeze, whereas I don't. So... I'm trying to build my chest. I want to force as much blood into it as I can. So I'm going to choose the exercises that that work for me, uh, if that makes sense. And it's not going to be like that forever. A uh, few, few months ago, maybe a year ago, I was hitting incline barbell almost every chest day. And it was working. And then it just kind of, you know, I lost interest and... If I'm not going to be 100% dedicated to a certain movement and I'm not going to get the best out of it, why, why would I do it? Um, just doesn't really make sense to do an exercise that, that I'm just not feeling. Now, there are certain instances in which we need to do specific movements to address specific weaknesses, but that's like... Uh, case specific scenario I would say um, but yeah that, that's about it for for chest we'll, we'll throw some flies in there maybe another press typically on incline smith I get to about 3 or 4 sets and my chest is pretty gassed on presses um, but I might throw a couple others in there and then as for secondary muscles we'll hit today I might hit some triceps at the end or some shoulders, uh, but that's really a toss up. Uh, and then I didn't do my cardio this morning. I've, I've been fried all week from work. Um, I started waking up early in the morning again before work to do my cardio, which is good. It feels great, but it's a Sunday. And I wanted to sleep in a little bit, so I did. So we're skipping the fasted cardio, which whether doing it fasted actually burns more fat or not, I don't know. I just like doing it in the morning because I think it's good to struggle in the morning. First thing, you know, do something difficult, jump in a cold shower, go for a run outside, hop on a cardio bike, whatever. You know, something that you can do. Maybe you can't do cardio. Maybe you can jump in a cold shower, get the blood rushing throughout your body, you know, get those endorphins going, some good stuff. But yeah, uh, that should be it. And you'll see me when I'm about to do my first set on Incline Smith, unless somebody hijacked the Smith machine from me. But it's a Sunday, so hopefully that's not the case. All right. Warm-ups are done. I have no idea if you guys can hear me because the music is so loud right now. Um, but warm-ups are done. Basically, when you're warming up for a heavy compound lift, you're not trying to actually work the muscle. You're just trying to get your body used to the movement and getting used to loading the weight. So I really didn't go over four or five reps 
working up to this weight. Um, nothing crazy, you know, my body's warm. I did some tricep extensions, did a few pullovers, get my back warmed up, nice and loose. Nothing crazy, I'm not trying to exhaust myself here, but you know, <clears throat> got about two plates and a quarter on each side. Let's see what we can get. I think last time, I'm not sure what I got last time. We're, we're just gonna fight for it. I think that was 12. I might have miscounted one, so it might have been 11. But we'll say 12 until I go back and look at the footage. But I really, my grip is kind of close. Um, if I go too far out, it strains my pec. So that's just where it's comfortable for me. I feel it the most in my chest. I don't really, my triceps don't get lit up too much. I also don't go down all the way. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, some might see that as an excuse, being lazy, not completing the rep, but I just it keeps the tension on the chest for me, and going lower than that hurts my elbows. I'm not going to inflict pain for maybe one to two percent more gains. That's it for this weight. I don't want to go below eight reps, which is what I just hit. Kind of did like a reverse pyramid, 12, 10, 8. And then I'll lower the weight for the next set. Take the 25s off and just finish this off with the pump. When you're trying to decide how many sets you're supposed to do, some people like to do one, two working sets max. I just go until the, the movement stops feeling good. And I typically try to stay in that like nine to 12 set range per workout per muscle group. And 10 to 11 is a sweet spot for me. And you know, I like to maybe do two, three exercises per lift. Uh, maybe sometimes four, throwing in like one set of something at the end just to finish off the pump. But yeah, we're just gonna take some weight off here and then we'll hit the last set and move on to something else. Uh, smash out this last set here. Try to force some more blood into the chest with this press. I think next I'm gonna go to the incline chest press. My, my pressing strength isn't feeling quite exhausted yet. Probably go a little bit lighter than I did here but probably do two or three sets on that one. But let's focus on what we have at hand. I didn't bother moving the weight up, so I'm gonna have to show you guys my pristine flexibility to get under this thing. Okay.
God. <laughs> I, th I thought about going for one more rep, but I think I would have been toast. And I don't feel like being toast today. Some might say that's a bitch move, which you might be correct, but some days it's just not a good idea to try to eat those grinders out, if you know what I mean. Okay, so we're here at this incline chest press, which is pretty good, but after those incline Smith sets, your ab, or my, my absolute strength is gonna be kinda drained, and based off of previous lifts, two plates on this thing is solid for me. And it's not about looks, guys. We're not trying to lift the most amount of weight. We're trying to get the most amount of blood into the muscle. And more weight does help in a certain context, but you're not gonna be able to push maximal loads throughout your entire lift. So this might be a little bit on the lighter side, but what you can do is at the beginning of your set, really focus on the squeeze and the stretch and slow the reps down. And then once you start getting a little more fatigued, then you can finish off the set by pumping the reps a little bit more. So I'll show you what that looks like right now. Yeah, just kind of get locked in place, get nice and tight. Cool. Also, cut this bull crap of like set rest times every set. You know, people say every set I gotta rest two minutes. But by the 60 second mark, you're fully ready to go. What are you doing, you lazy bum? Get back on the machine and rep it out. You're trying to keep the pump going, you're trying to fill the muscle up with blood. If you can't get close enough to the rep range, you just hit with the same weight. Maybe you should wait a little bit longer or Maybe you should lower the weight a little bit to get that same rep goal. So, really depends on you and what your goals are. My goals are getting huge. So we're done on the inclined chest press. All right, here we are at the cables. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna fill up the chest with blood. We're trying to touch our biceps together. And you don't wanna hunch forward. You wanna open up. You want a big chest like this so you get a nice full stretch. I see so many people getting right here and you just rep it out. You're just hitting your front delts, man. You're doing nothing. You gotta. You gotta put some effort into it. So I admit, that first set was a little too heavy. I couldn't squeeze it all the way in. So, drop the weight down a peg. Hopefully we'll get a slightly better squeeze. 
Yeah, that was, that was a little better. Also, it's good to squeeze the muscle after you're done with the set for a few seconds, especially if you hit some of those poses. Man, you, you just get so tight, rock solid. I lowered the cables just so we could get a little emphasis on upper chest as well. You can't have too much upper chest, guys. Come on. That's where most dudes are lacking. Oh man, so that concludes chess. Pretty pumped right now. Not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna finish off with some triceps and then we'll check the pump out. Whew. Now, for these, I don't really go crazy on the warm-ups because I already just hit chest. So you're gonna hit a little bit of tricep no matter what you do. So I just put a little bit of weight on there just to get a feel for the movement, just to see where the strength of my triceps are. Nothing crazy, not trying to get any work done yet. And then put the, the weight at what I think is gonna be appropriate and then just bust them out. It's pretty simple. I had to lower the weight a little bit. That last set was pretty killer on the triceps. Yeah, gonna aim for two more sets here and then we'll do some overhead. I think one thing that bothers me is, and at first it's gonna sound weird, but people that are hypercritical about form, and it's like form over everything, doesn't matter if they feel it, doesn't matter if it hurts. If the form is perfect from the outside, they think that they're doing the exercise correctly, but they've been doing the same movement for five years, 
and they haven't grown at all. Stick to the basics, like, you know, with a tricep extension, right? Keep your hand in front of you, elbow right here, and push forward. But if you feel a little bit more putting your elbows out instead of tucked in, move your elbows out a little bit. Your triceps will grow a lot more. They'll respond a lot better. People are gonna hate on you no matter what you do. But if you're growing and they're not, who really cares? So, final tricep movement, overhead cable extensions. No need to complicate it. I don't need five tricep movements at the end of my chest day. These are what work for me. If I came here on an isolated arm day, I would probably do something heavier like a skull crusher or a machine dip. But my triceps are already pretty fried from the chest workout I just did. So we're just getting out of them what we can, you know? I'm not worried about it, I'm not leaving gains on the table. I'm giving 100%. Now honestly, I was gonna try to match my push down sets and try to get five, but I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna make it there. Regardless, we keep pushing. <sighs> Yeah, I think we'll do one more and we'll be done. All right, we're here, final set. We're gonna make it a drop set. Just get a disgusting pump. That's it, let's go check out the pump. All right, we've made it to the posing room. My chest might have deflated a little bit uh, after spending some time on triceps, but I don't think it's too bad. So we'll just try to see what it looks like if I can get out of my shirt. You don't, don't mind the, the rash. I don't know what that's from. All right, We're looking pretty full. Ooh. Triceps. How's that? Can you see? 
I think so. We'll hit a side chest. Oh yeah. I meant to I'll see if I can do it mid video. There we go. Exposure's down a little bit. Looks a little bit better. Oh yeah. Crazy. Oh my goodness. So yeah, it doesn't take much guys. Just uh, go as hard as you can. Pick the exercises that feel good to you. Ooh. Relish in the pump at the end. Ooh. And then all I have left is we need some abs, abs and calves. Do my cardio and crush some uh, post-workout carbs and protein shake. May or may not see you guys back in my car, but yeah, what a chest day, man. All right, so that's a wrap on some chest and tries. It's a really solid workout, honestly. Um, <clears throat> you know, I workouts don't need to take very long. Um, I used to make the mistake of working out for like two hours at a time, and mainly it was because I was afraid that I would be leaving gains on the table. But once you reach maximal pump and you can't really exert as much strength anymore, there's no real point to keep going unless it's for your ego and you're just trying to prove to yourself how much you can really do. So not, not trying to do that anymore. You know, I want to, I would rather, instead of killing my muscle, I would rather train till my muscle is broken down to the point where I'm going to stimulate new growth, but not to the point where I'm going to affect my ability to recover by my next chest session or whatever muscle it is that I'm going to be hitting again in four to five days. Uh, and then I'll be recovered and I should be able to do the same, if not more weight on the next lift and get an equal or better pump the next time. It's really that simple. There's no need to complicate it. I think people think if I, what, what if, what if I, I could do more? Like, what if my chest is so pumped, but I can just do like 10 more sets? Well, you might not be as pumped as you think you are, and you might not be training as hard as you think you are. So, I, I, I truly believe that you can always go harder. Um, but that doesn't, training harder doesn't necessarily equate to training for a longer period of time if that makes any sense so take that however you will anyway i'm just making a quick stop to the grocery store to pick up a few things i need to get some beef and some zero calorie sodas um i'm i started a mini cut about a week ago and i'm telling you Diet soda really helps me stay locked in. It's just that that little flavor break, I'll call it, from the rest of my mundane, tedious diet that's important. We should try to eat the same foods every single day, I believe, to achieve the same results. I think when people, oh, I don't want to eat the same food every day, that's boring. And, and I don't want to be the guy that's like, I'm not. I'm not eating for fun, I'm, I'm eating for a purpose. But in a sense, if you're eating whatever, even if you're hitting the same calories every single day, if you're eating whatever, you're drinking however much water you want and you're not hitting a certain goal, and your workout is off the next day, you don't really know what it is that went wrong. But if you eat the same food every day and you drink the same amount of water, you get the same amount of sleep, do the same amount of cardio, chances are you're probably going to have a similar lift. 
Now, there's other factors that play into affecting your workout, such as work, life, other stressors, etc. But we're trying to limit as many variables as possible. I remember back in my early days of going to the gym of if it fits your macros, which if that works for you, then great. But I was just eating whatever, you know, protein sources from whatever, carb sources from whatever. And a carb is a carb at the end of the day, but different carbs do different things in the body. And uh, we're, we're trying to maximize the amount of uh, good carbs, good fats, good proteins that we're fueling our bodies with. And um, what, was I, what was I getting at here? Yeah, if you eat the same food every day, basically you can expect something different. And, it, and then if you miss a meal and your, your lift isn't that good the next day, you can probably point your finger at it being that meal that you missed. And then you know, okay, I need to hit this these meals every single day to maximize the efficiency of my lift. But not everyone is trying to eke out those little percentages of gains in the gym. But at the end of the day, if you're trying to get the best results that you can, you should try to perform as best as you can. It, that's how I look at it. And so far it's been working for me. And uh, at this point, I, I don't know if somebody could tell me, oh, you just eat whatever you want and achieve the same results. But you never know. There's, there's freaks out there for sure. But yeah, with that being said, I think I'm just going to hop in the store here and get my groceries and head home. So, later.